Hi everyone. I'm so happy to be able to introduce you all to Ruby Format today for Rosconf, and I really do hope you will contribute to the project. Um, I have sent a pre-recorded video uh, because this started a little early for my time zone in New York, so I do hope uh, that you don't mind, and I will be online for the in-person AMA uh, shortly after these introductory sessions. So, to introduce myself, my name is Penelope Fippen. I go by Penelope Zone almost everywhere on the internet. I use she, her pronouns, and I identify as a trans woman. So, what is Ruby Format? Like, why am I here today? What is this project? And, like, the simplest possible answer to this is that Ruby Format is a Ruby auto formatter. It's a program that's designed to consume files of Ruby source code, apply various transformations to them, and then spit out functionally identical Ruby files just with cleaned up formatting, the idea being that Ruby ends up with a single consistent style. And this is best explained by looking at Ruby format working inside a text editor. As you can see here, I'm sort of just writing my code, doing whatever, throwing code wherever I want, and then when I save the file, the code just snaps into place, almost as if by magic. And this is really what Ruby format is designed to do. It's designed to sit in your text editor and just automatically format your code as you're working. Um, and this is really, really cool, but like, it's still not done yet. And what that means is that there's a great opportunity for y'all to help me with Ruby format today. So what would that look like? Well, Ruby format has two really big classes of bug that it takes a lot of work to identify. And so I'm primarily here today to ask folks to help me identify bugs, not really burn down and fix them, but just find as many bugs as we can. And to do that, there are primarily two types of bug I'm really looking for, for folks to help me find. Uh, the first is um, the kind of error message that happens when Ruby format encounters a program it doesn't understand. What this ba error message basically means is that you provided Ruby format with some code that it's not seen before. And because it hasn't seen this code before, it doesn't know how to format the source code. And this is really bad for us. We don't want to crash on any Ruby files in existence. And so the first thing I'd really love is when you run Ruby format on your own project, um, see if this class of bug falls out the other side and if it does file a bug report. Um, so that's sort of class one. And then class two is the case where Ruby format meaningfully changes the behavior of your file and causes your tests to fail. Basically, I'd love to know if you run Ruby format on your project, do any tests start failing? Because if they do, that's a bug in Ruby format itself and it needs to be fixed. Why does this happen? Usually it's because I haven't accounted for some kind of edge case in formatting a particularly weird construct, but Ruby format isn't really being used as a daily driver on any real Ruby projects today. And so I'd love to know if you encounter any edge cases with it while running it on your own code bases. So that's kind of the help I'm looking for. In terms of uh, exactly what I'd love to see though, um, Ruby format today, like if you file a bug and it's a huge file, it's really, really hard for me to work out exactly what's going on. So I'd really love it if not only you could identify which files it's failing on in your applications, but also bring them down to minimal examples so that we can understand like what small fragment of code actually caused Ruby format to fail. Um, there are bonus points for making Rust contributions and actually fixing bugs, but you don't need to know Rust to help with Ruby format. Just finding bugs by running it on your Ruby project and then bringing the code to the smallest possible size to reproduce the bug um, would be really, really helpful. So let's talk about how you actually do this. How do you get started with Ruby format? Well, the first thing you're going to need to do is install Rust, because Ruby format is actually primarily a Rust project with Ruby inside it and not the other way around. So if you just go to rustup.rs and follow the instructions, that will tell you uh, everything you need to do to install Rust. Once you've done that, uh, you can actually clone Ruby format down and run make all. Make all will actually initialize the Ruby format build, but the very first time this runs, you're gonna wanna walk away and grab a cup of coffee. Um, this is gonna compile a ton of Rust dependencies, and it turns out that like first time compilation of Rust code is very, very slow. All future compilations of Ruby format will be fast because uh, then the build will be cached, but this very first time it's gonna be slow and you're gonna wanna grab some coffee. After that, you're free to run Ruby format on your project and then start the re reporting the classes of bugs I mentioned previously. Um, so that's how I'd love, like to get help. Um, 
And yeah, I think that's basically everything we need. Yeah, report crashes or test failures as you encounter them, and thank you so much for listening.